Tonsay lacrosse fans, you're watching SNN's Lacrosse Night in Saskatchewan on sasnews.net. I'm your host and play-by-play -play announcer, Steve Schneider. We are back on the unceded Treaty 4 territory in Regina, Saskatchewan for Prairie Gold Lacrosse League matchup between the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux and the defending PGLL champions, the Saskatoon SWAT. Standing Buffalo is coming in tonight's game, sitting in first place with a 2-0-1 record. Saskatoon, or sorry, Standing Buffalo has the 2-0-1 record. Saskatoon is coming in tonight's game with a four, in fourth place with a 1-1-0 record. Both teams are fresh off the floor as both teams played last night in Regina. And Saskatoon SWAT are coming in hot after a 17-9 win over the Regina Heat at the Al Ritchie last night. The Fighting Sioux had a one of, got one of two available points stolen from them last night after a last second nail biting goal by the Brewers' Zach Gould with just 32 seconds remaining to secure a tie for Saskatoon Brewers. Brighton Thurasson had three goals, three assists and led the Brewers in offense. Sean Evans had an eight point night in his debut Two goals, six assists, and Brandon Murphy's four goals powered the Fighting Sioux in the 11-11 tie last night with the Saskatoon Brewers here at the Doug Wickenheiser Arena in Regina. Steven, uh, Steven uh, Toborowski uh, had five goals, four assists, helped uh, help lead Saskatoon Swats with nine points in the win last night over the Regina Heat across town at the Al Ritchie Memorial Arena. Toborowski has 14 points in his last two games. Henry Elliott had uh, four, four goals, two assists, or four assists, and Chris Lukash had three goals, one assist, and provided plenty of offense for the SWAT. In tonight, and good goal tonight, wearing number 82, we have for the Fighting Sioux is on loan tonight from the Saskatchewan Rush of the uh, National Lacrosse League as the standing Buffalo's goaltender Teddy Zichpi is out with a knee injury. So the Fighting Sioux have called on Frank Sigliano to uh, tend the twine for the standing Buffalo. Next game for Saskatoon SWAT is Sunday, May 12th versus the Saskatoon Brewers at the Gordie Howe Kinsman Arena in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Next game for the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux is Wednesday, May 15th versus the Regina Heat back here at the Doug Wickenheiser Arena in Regina. And we're one minute in here. So far scoreless, but I spoke too soon. Shatler tickles the twine and makes it one nothing with 19.04 left here in the second. It's almost like I sensed the goal coming. So the first goal for the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux, the number 77, Jeff Shatler. And that'll find its way up and over. Fighting Sue gonna grab that, moves it up right hand side. These Saskatoon SWAT jerseys are very hard to read. So we're gonna try and do our best here. But anyway, it is Fighting Sue Ball. Walker takes it around right hand side. Dump back in. We got a number 66 joining the play here. Was not here last night. That is Isaac Chikus. Thrown into the boards. He's going to punch him up in the mouth. We got some uh, exchanging some words over by the bench. A bit of a fight breaking out. So they'll come back here to 
Join the play. Saskatoon moving it around. Right in front. Tries to weave his way through. And he'll get knocked down. That'll go over the net. Soliano tested early. It's still 1-0 for the Fighting Sioux. In July 2023, Shiliano was traded to the Saskatchewan Rush of the National Hockey or National Lacrosse League in exchange for the playing rights of defender Kyle Rubbish and his first and second round selections in the upcoming 2023 National Lacrosse League entry draft. Uh, Shiliano appeared in 28 games in the in a San Diego Diego Seals jersey, uh, history re registering uh, 985 saves and an 11.90 goals against average, and a uh, .777 save percentage. Saskatoon now with the man advantage, as it looks like the Fighting Sioux are going to get a roughing penalty. Fires a low one and a save by Shiliano. Noon using his size to keep that ball away. He's going to have it knocked away by the SWAT. I mean, number six. Diziatic. So we got a bench miner coming for the Saskatoon SWAT. So Eagle Eagle substitution. So they need a second guy as they got two penalties over. So they're calling another guy from the bench. So it'll make it four on three. And it looks like that's gonna be number six, Fiazic. And the Fighting Sioux go from being shorthanded to on the power play, just like that. So the ball will start out at center here with Shadler. We're just waiting for the clock to get put on here. So early on, we got our first three penalties of the night. Oh, wide open and scores! Brandon Yuzichipi making it two to nothing on the power play. Kenzie out to take they got that against Noon. Noon is hard to beat in that circle. Look at him. He even got down. He got his, I think he won that with his elbow. That was awesome. Saskatoon with it now, number 22. Right in front, good chance. Toborowski. That'll go back down into SWAT territory. Evans on a breakaway, he shoots. Oh, and a big save. They're gonna fire that down back into SWAT, or into standing Buffalo territory. Evans slows things down in the corner. Scooped up. Right back in front, Shatler with it now. Looking for an open man. Right in front. And uh, it'll be a no goal. 
No, 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 that's supposed to be Saskatoon ball. Or no, I guess that's supposed to be standing Buffalo ball. Loose ball in the corner, right back in front for Shatler. Low shot, saved, and it gets a piece of the post. That'll go off into the corner. Saskatoon making its way in two, three on one, four on one, as the standing Buffalo fighting suit went for a change. 66 right in front. That's Nolan. Right up through center. SWAT gonna scoop that up. They're gonna come right on, goes across to the right hand side. Catches Toporowski coming off the bench. Cutting in, looks, fakes, low shot. Scigliano with the save. Whitehouse. Sorry, that was Walker, 55. Putting on the Jets, he's gonna get caught by, big hit in front. Tibiaka throwing the weight around. And he's gonna stop him along the sideboards. Jones running out of room. 14.35 left here in the first. Fighting Sue leading two nothing. Shots on goal so far seven to four. Will Swiss in front, loose ball, fires! He's gonna get the time count, so that'll be Saskatoon ball. Oh, right in front, oh, and Shiliano doesn't quite get a piece of it, but he gets the post, so that's gonna come back out. Toporowski on the back check, he'll grab that one. Tolborowski across the blue line. Backing in, shovels it off. Fires from high outside. That'll go over the net. Chiliano throwing the body behind the net. Long pass right to Walker. He's gonna connect. Fires goes down into the corner. Shot! And he's gonna hold on. Long pass connects with Tobaros coming off the bench. Rebound again. And that'll remain still 2 0 with 12.51 left. Two good chances by Saskatoon. They couldn't capitalize. Saskatoon now with it along the side, or sorry, <laughs> fighting Sue with the ball down in Saskatoon's territory. Down low right in front, Shatler fires. Chopik. Rebound comes back out for Tuiaka. Fires a low one, yeah, you got a stick on that. So that'll be fighting Sue Ball. Brings it back out to Evans. Evans with it. Low shot by Tibiaka, save. And the SWAT looking long. Gonna come off the glass. That's gonna come back into fighting Sue territory. Thompson can't quite get that one bouncing off the wall. We got a loose ball in the corner. 
He's going to hold on to him. Thompson keeps him to the outside. Into the slot, fires, bounce shot. That's going to go up and over the net. Jones with a good chance for Saskatoon. 11-16 left here in the second. Tabiaka carries it in. They give it to Shatler. Shatler but looks for Evan. Or no, he finds Zinchipi. Shatler down in the corner to Tiwiaka. Comes back out to Shatler. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Fires. And it'll be Saskatoon ball. Elliott with it. He's looking to get some space. Toblerowski fights off a check, carries it in. It's going to mean, oh, he meets some lumber from Whitehouse. Knocked away. Toblerowski grabs it, cuts in, fires low. Shiliano with the save. 10-15 left here in the second. Walker moves it up floor. Dybul across to Evans. Evans comes in, fires, and top corner scores! Makes it three to nothing, fighting Sue. So with that, the Fighting Sioux move up three to nothing with 10.03 left here in the first. Noon out to take the draw. Gonna win that straight back, gonna be picked up by Morris. Morris looks up the right side of the floor as comes off the boards. Murphy just can't quite handle it off that bounce. Jones waiting for some players to come off the bench. Noticed he was all alone all of a sudden. Jones can't quite hold it coming across center. Back right in front one time. Skelliano with the save. Right through center. Uzichipi. They're going to bring that back around to the right-hand side. Murphy trying to weave his way through that defense. Gets it back out, fires. And Murphy with another good chance. Finds a seam. And he's going to shut the door on that one. Saskatoon going to regroup, comes back out. Long pass. Carried in by Leach. Fired. Oh, he's looking to hit Toblerowski, but he uh, hit him in the back instead. There's Nana. Find some open floor. He'll get that over to Tiwiaka. Right in front, oh, and a good save. That'll come back out, Saskatoon. Gonna catch him changing, he's gonna streak to Oe. He's got three guys, came out of nowhere. Right in front again, Oe is rocked by Whitehouse. Making him acquainted with the floor. Eight minutes to go here in the first. Scoreboard says second, but it's actually the first period. Leach going for a change. Lukash. Jones gets stripped. Walker, he's got Evans wide open, left hand side. Evans fires and it's kept out. That's going to come back around. Walker is going to scoop up the rebound. Gets it out back to Morris. Morris gives it to Shatler and goes for a change. On comes Uzichipi. Evans looking, 
Finds a seam. Looking, fires over top. That's gonna go over the net. Looking long. Bounce pass gets uh, broken up at center. Whitehouse all over him like a dirty shirt. Toblerowski swims, spins, tries to find him in front, but the pass is just off. And Whitehouse knocks him in the next week as he is still down. His grandchildren are gonna feel that one. Six minutes, 40 seconds to go. I think he's, he thinks, I think they're gonna give a penalty because he just figures there's supposed to be a penalty, but. Oh yeah, there's gonna be two minutes for roughing. I don't know. So that'll be number 10, Brandon Whitehouse. Two minutes for roughing. Comes back right in front, goes to the outside. Saskatoon now cross floor, right back to the top. Fires and a save by Shiliano. Again, another shot from the outside. Turn to side, Shatler picks up the rebound, swims, cuts across, good pass right to Evans, fires. And he scores! Well, that was a five minute penalty for roughing. But 6.09, Evans gets a pass from Shatler, threads the needle cross floor, making it four to nothing. That'll be Evans' second goal of the night. Putting the standing Buffalo fighting Sue up by four with six minutes to go here in the first. Moving it around. Saskatoon looking to get their first one of the period. Loose ball picked up by Walker. Walker, he's off to the races. He's got one guy to beat. Fires and scores, but takes the hit, makes the play. Hey, he went for it and he got it. Five minutes, 43 seconds left here in the first. Standing Buffalo up by five. Noon holding his ground. Swat are gonna scoop that up. Jones turned aside by Shiliano. Long, oh, and the roof's just not high enough for Giuliano. Maybe used to Sastel Center a little too much. Tobolowski looking in front. Oh, that was a good chance for the SWAT just mishandled on the doorstep. Fighting their way into the territory. Cuts across, looking in front. Tobolowski scores! And he opens the scoring for the Saskatoon SWAT. On the power play. A seven from 22 and nine. That's Jones picking up the assist on that one. Don't have a number for uh, name for number 22, but we'll grab that at the break. So with 5.05 left here in the first, 3.25 left in the major penalty to Whitehouse. Danny Buffalo finds himself up five to one. Noon takes the draw, holds his ground at center. Ball comes loose, Saskatoon's gonna kick that, but it's gonna be picked up. Murphy doesn't quite get it, spins off, but Noon throws his weight around. On the pursuit. Saskatoon slowing it down on the power play. Three minutes, 25 seconds to go in the man advantage.
Toblerowski out there with Jones. Back out to the top, Toblerowski, low shot, Shiliano turns that aside. Cross floor is low and it's gonna hit a shin. And he's scooped up by the goaltender. Shiliano with a bomb. Toblerowski has lots of floor in front of him. Weaves, fires, goes wide. Two minutes, 33 seconds left in the man advantage. Jones with it, moves it back over, right hands out, Jones gets it back. Again, back to the back door, looks for an opening. Shiliano closes the door. So two minutes, seven seconds left in the penalty to Whitehouse. Runs into traffic. The Swiss gets checked. Met at center, knocks it away. Saskatoon gonna scoop that back up. Throws the brakes on, Wist. Centering pass over to Toporowski. Backhand, back over. Over top, but they get to, Shatler gets a piece of that and he's got a breakaway, no one around. And he, oh, well, we got a big save. And will bounce off over to the corner. Shatler will scoop that back up. Two minutes, 55 seconds left here in the period. One minute, 12 seconds left here in the man advantage. Evans fires from the outside. That's gonna connect with a Saskatoon player. Shatler will flip that back. Bouncing ball. Feeds Toblerowski in front, looking, fires, and a big save by Shiliano. On the side, that goes right through him. Felt the wind as that went through there. Turned aside again, long pass. That's gonna come off the back wall. Evans hit a slippery spot. 38 seconds to go here in the major penalty to White House. <laughs> Open in front, that goes over the net. Toborowski grabs the rebound, weaves his way through. Walker keeping him to the outside. And he mishandles that. 10 seconds to go here in the penalty. Whitehouse is gonna jump back up on the floor here. One minute 45 left in the period. I think they stopped the clock. Yeah, they had, yeah. There we go. Whistled back in. So that'll end the man advantage for the SWAT. Shatler with it, right hand side at the blue line. Moves it down into the corner. Right in front, oh, and he's turned aside. Right through the middle of Toborowski. He's been with some, a little bit of resistance there. His Nana. Shows his speed to get back on defense. Shatler, Tiwiaka, Yusichipi. And Chikus. Out for the fighting Sioux. Shatler at the top right through. Can be intercepted by the SWAT. He's gonna carry that out of the zone. Right hand side goes cross floor. For Nolan, back out to center. That's gonna bounce right into Saskatoon's bench. 31 seconds, they call it timeout. 
So fighting Sue, call a timeout. I think uh, equipment adjustment and some water for the goaltender. Part of me feels like could have waited another 30 seconds. We're going to roll the highlight reel from this uh, first period. Uh, I'm Steve Schneider. You're watching Lacrosse Night in Saskatchewan on www.sasnews.net. Logan Goodwill joining the game. Shatler is whistled in, 25 seconds. Hey, Tonze Lacrosse fans, welcome back to the Doug Wickenheiser Arena here on Unceded Treaty 4 territory in Regina, Saskatchewan. We have a Prairie Gold Lacrosse League matchup here. We're going into the second period. The scoreboard says three, but we're going to have to remember that it is second period. Uh, the Fighting Sioux find themselves up five to one over the Saskatoon SWAT. Standing Buffalo defending their top spot in the Prairie Gold Lacrosse League tonight as uh, the Saskatoon Swan are uh, fresh off of a win last night as they were here, or not here at the Doug Wick, but they were over at the Al Ritchie Arena. And that score last night was 17, yeah, 17 to nine over the Regina Heat. Fighting Sioux had one of the two available points stolen from them last night. In the last seconds, the nail-biting goal by the Brewers, Zach Gould, with just 32 seconds remaining to secure the tie of the Sasser Brewers. Tonight, we're coming in here 
And the different story, whereas the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux find themselves up five to one. Shots on goal after the first. We're 13 for the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux and 10 for the Saskatoon SWAT. Goals coming for the uh, Fighting Sioux for Shatler had one, Evans had two. Uh, as well as Uchichipi and it looks like, sorry, I'm having a technical difficulty here. And Walker, something froze up on me for a second. Goes lone goal for the Saskatoon Swan by Toplarowski. That was late, late, late in the first period. We have a five minute penalty up on the board. Must have been for that fight at the end. So because it looks like we have a uh, limited real estate over there in the penalty box for the Saskatoon SWAT at this moment. So with five minute major, the uh, Fighting Sioux can score as many times as they want or can. And they will remain on the power play for the whole duration of the time penalty. But I see there's two in there right now, so there must be a second one on top of that. Notice no fighting suit penalty, though. Granted, Tiwi Aka just tried to walk away. He had his helmet ripped off at the end of the period. Noon. Flexing his muscles at center here. Wins that draw. And be picked up by the fighting suit, Morris. Gets it over to Evans. He's looking for some open floor. Over to Shatler, cross floor in front. Murphy gonna chase him down off the side. He's getting the stick right up, up, up in his jaw. He's trying to chop down a tree. That comes right back out to center. Evans gonna grab that. Jones not happy. Evans down to Shatler, back to Evans. Shatler in the corner. Fires, that's gonna go back. Bounces right back out to Evans, out at the blue. Shatler with the one-timer right at the shot clock. Saskatoon ball. He's to the outside, Evans tries to swim. Makes his way through, but that's gonna go back in behind the net, McKenzie. Evans moving it around. Fire is saved. Another save by Chopik. Shatler moving it around, looking back door. Evans off the side of the net. Chopik gets a piece of that. La Swiss over to Tiwiaka. Low shot off the background goes back to La Swiss. To Evans, Shatler right through the wicket. As Debel can't hold on, Shatler finds it again, puts it Chopik with the save, and he's gonna get that out of the zone to the blue line. Oh, he's met by Shatler at the blue line. As he chops that away, that'll come back off the sidewall, holds on. And they're gonna hold on back on in the corner. Evans takes it behind the net. Fires, that goes off the uh, Chopik's shoulder. Behind the net for Evans. Puts it off the back of. Eight second warning. Fires and there's a shot. 
Saskatoon met with some body in the corner. Moving it around. La Swiss. Diebel. La Swiss fires. Elwin Chopin gets a shoulder on it. Evans tries to go to the bottom corner. Right in front. Oh, he just he can't quite corral it. La Swiss. Evans back to La Swiss. La Swiss fight. Threaded it through and he scores! Shatler finds the top corner. And we'll have a pretty replay for that on camera two. With 16.01 left here in the second. Standing Buffalo gets their first power play goal of the five minute man advantage. So I think they're going to give an assist to Tiwiaka and Evans on that one. Noon wins it. White House. Shatler, right in front, scores! Tiwiaka making it 7-1. And with 15.41 left here in the second, Standing Buffalo ex expands their lead by six. Just waiting for them to get the clock set here. So we have some, a couple other games in progress today. Get going in the Junior League later, or just uh, shortly after this one got going, the uh, PA Predators and the Regina Barracudas over at the El Ritchie at 2 p.m. We'll get you a score on that really, really soon here. And the other one from tonight, earlier in the day at 11 o'clock this morning, we had the Brewers taking on the Heat. And they extinguished the Heat 16-3 to by the looks of it. It's over at the Al Ritchie Memorial Arena. Shatler with it. Feeds it out front, but he's met with some late contact. Uh, he's making a good point that it's, if that was him who hit him the other way around, it would have been a penalty. So we've got a, it's like a penalty coming to Shatler. Looks like Evans is going in the box. Uh, referees are having a kind of trouble keeping control of this one. And he's showing quite a bit of emotion. So we got slashing by Evans. So it'll be Saskatoon ball out at center. A two minute penalty for Evans. Fourteen thirty-five left here. Saskatoon on the power play. Toblerowski fires. That goes down into the corner. Right in front. Big save! Shiliano. Shiliano with another one. Toblerowski. 
Shifts, fires, save. That goes off into the corner. Saskatoon gets their rebound. And he scores! Toporowski beats Giuliano five hole. And they're gonna chip away at a standing Buffalo lead, making it seven to two. Well, Toporowski's second goal of the night. for the Saskatoon SWAT. Noon using his body, he's gonna lay down on the guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Right, he's gonna come back out across, bounces across the blue line. make its way back down into standing Buffalo territory. Lena Wish Day out there for the standing Buffalo fighting Sioux. Loose ball in front. Gonna chase it down. It's knocked back into fighting Sioux territory. Fakes weaves his way through. Fires and scores! Carson Isnana puts on a footwork clinic at center floor. And, and he's only 17 years old playing senior men's, making it eight to two for the standing Buffalo fighting Sioux. That'll be dumped back into the zone. Saskatoon will uh, scoop it back up. Good pass right in front. And a huge save. Shiliano gets a foot on that. La Swiss. Shatler with it now. He's looking for. Zinchipi gets it in the middle. Goes low and scores! Beats Chopik five hole. Oh, we got an unsportsmanlike penalty coming for La Swiss. So that'll be goal number nine. The Uzichpi, but it looks like the Swiss is gonna sit for unsportsmanlike after the uh, extra celebration, I guess, at the end of that one. We'll go to the replay and see exactly what happened later. Loose ball, <laughs> helping each other up at center. <laughs> it was like a leg wrestle for a little while there. Finds a seam, goes to the outside, back through the middle, that'll go back off the sidewall, back, bounces out to the blue line. Somehow Toblerowski ended up with that. Loose ball in the corner. He gets turtle shelled. He's spinning around on his back in the corner. And he moved down, fighting Sue, bouncing ball. And he scores! Number five. Diebel. Making it 10 to two with 11.22 left in the second for the fighting Sioux. Well, I guess that was a 10 minute misconduct for Los Swiss as there's nine minutes, eight seconds up on the board. 
So he'll be sitting there for the better part of the game and into the third period. Now it looks like we have a disagreement coming from the Saskatoon bench. Toss down. That ball will make its way down into Fighting Sioux territory. Bouncing ball bout at the blue line. Goodwill. Out there with Tiwiaka and Murphy. Shatler. And Murphy scores! Shatler makes the impossible shot. And we don't have camera two on that one. But we will give you camera one one more time on the replay. Shatler making it 11 to two for the Fighting Sioux. And possibly maybe straight time in the third. Battling with Noon and for those face boxes is probably one of the toughest things I've seen anybody do here today. Oh, Shatler getting physical along the boards. Noon stepping in there to help. Right back at pass to Shatler. Oh, he can't quite hold it. Gets blindsided. Morris down on the ground. Referee either was staring right at it or he missed that completely. Uh, this could get ugly. Toplarowski tossed to the floor. Is Nana boxes him out. That'll be the shot. Nine minutes, 41 seconds left here in the second. Evans with it. Waiting, waiting. Back door, oh, is not our good chance by number 66, Chikus. Evans scoops it out of the air, fires, long shot, goes wide off the back wall. Noon carries it in, and he's gonna go for a change. Tiwiaka fires, that'll come up off the netting. Kinda glad that was there. He's all tied up with, uh, looks like uh, Goodwill. Eight minutes, 52 seconds to go here in the second. Bit of a lopsided one here as the Fighting Sioux lead by nine. Scoops it on, he gets it in stride. Whitehouse on a breakaway. Oh, and a huge save. Chopik slams the door shut. Saskatoon fires. Frankie gonna scoop that up. Morris picks that out of the air. Looking for somebody to give it to. Gives it over to Diebel, goes for a change. Murphy out to Diebel. Gives it to Murphy, both Murphys out there with Shatler. Murphy scoops up the loose ball, fires off the side of the net. So that'll be Saskatoon ball. Seven minutes, 52 seconds left here in the second. Long pass, goes for a change. In front, nope. That'll go off into the corner. Loose ball scooped up by the Fighting Sioux. 
Well, that goes off the inside of the bench. That was a weird bounce. As he throws him to the floor, Oeste battling for the ball. Tiwiaka takes the hit to make the play, but the play goes off in the corner and Saskatoon gets the ball. Tiwiaka gets a piece of that as it cuts across. Uzichipi. Letting Downs know. Oh, we got a penalty. Coming to the Fighting Sioux. Two minutes for interference for Uzichipi. That was a late call. He's been off the, off the floor for a little while. We'll have to go back to the replay and see what happened. Maybe it was something from the bench. Either way, seven minutes, two seconds to go here in the second. Shovels it off. Toblerowski right in front. And we got a bouncing ball that's gonna go back behind the net. Looks like that'll be Saskatoon ball. Shatler clears that one out. Tuiaka in with Wist. One minute, 25 seconds left in the man advantage for Saskatoon. Saskatoon looking to try to capitalize with the man advantage here on the power play. Sheds off the hit, goes cross floor. Doesn't get there cleanly though. Again, cross, big save. And Whitehouse shows him to the floor. Saskatoon only eight shots so far this period. Tuiaka, oh, over the shoulder behind the back. Goes over the net. Standing Buffalo letting some of their younger guys get some floor time today. Net comes off. Shovels it up ahead, bouncing. Saskatoon's gonna jump on that. They're gonna fire that back down into Fighting Sioux territory. Right in front, can't quite hold on to it. Goodwill. Fights off a check, he's gonna move that ball ahead. Took a weird bounce off the glass. Look it changed spins. Fires, goes over the top. Chiliano gets a piece of it, gets another one right in the chest. Swan registering a few more shots here. Chiliano spins and gets an eight second violation. Four minutes, 39 seconds to go here in the second. In front, and he scores! Saskatoon gets three on the board. Noon kicks it away. Mackenzie and Noon going to battle every time. Saskatoon with it again. Puts it out in front. He dives. 
Dable, 4.08 left in the second. Evans picks it up. Shatler tries to one-time it. Evans gets it back. Evans with, that came back over his other shoulder. Shatler in front, diving, oh, and a huge save by Jopic. Uh, we're only gonna have one angle of that, but either way. Chiliano with the save. Short side goes wide. Evans has him riding on his back. Yeah, we're gonna get the call there. Basically gave him a piggyback ride. Shiliano on his way to the bench, picks it up, fires it. He might get an assist here if Shatler scores. Delayed penalty still coming, bouncing ball. So that'll get called as holding. I think the Swiss is waiting for a whistle. Two minutes, 36 seconds left here in the second. It is 11 to three. Moves it around down to the corner. Evans in front. And Chopik. Evans. Right in front, Shatler making it 12 to three on the power play. Evans, right in front, Shatler making it. Well, Shatler's fourth goal tonight with two minutes, 14 seconds left here in the second. I hope they play straight time in the third or this could get ugly. Er. Oh, and a beautiful pass to Zichipi. And Chopik shuts the door. They'll shovel that stick off to the outside. Saskatoon Swan are the PGLL defending champions from 2023. They broke a five year streak or almost six year streak of the uh, Saskatoon Brewers being the league champions back to back to back to back to back. Right in front, Swat. And now it goes off into the corner. Bounces again off the side. Forty-five seconds to go here in the second. And he scores! Carson is Nana making it 13 to three with 40 seconds to go.
It's not a second goal of the night. So when they start to get out a little bit more out of hand, you always start to think about your different league records and stuff that are out there. And I mean, most points in a game is still held by Chris Lasanko with 22 points with the Yorkton Bulldogs and it's from 2003. No one has touched that record yet. And at the end of the second, we got a 13 to three score here for the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux over the Saskatoon SWAT. And things are getting a little ugly there for the SWAT here at the end. You're watching Lacrosse Night in Saskatchewan. I'm Steve Schneider, see you in the third. Tonsay lacrosse fans, welcome back to Lacrosse Night in Saskatchewan. You're watching the Saskatoon SWAT take on the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux, who are leading by 13 to 3 here in the third period here at the Doug Wickenheiser Arena on unceded Treaty 4 territory in Regina, Saskatchewan. Standing Buffalo getting a good chance to have some of their younger guys out here tonight, but they're going to start this uh, period off with Tibiaka, Diebold, Murphy, Murphy, and Evans. So we're going to come back the other way here now. Saskatoon, number 22, is going to hold on. Scooped up by Frank. Comes back out through. Well, Swiss, he'll grab that at the blue line. Fights off a check. Timiaka. Over to Chikus, and we've got a penalty coming here. It looks like Le Swiss. Must be comfortable bench in there. He's been in there for most of the game. So looks like the Swiss is going to get two here. However, he has been in there a few times already. See what happens. So they get two minutes for slashing. With 18:48 left here in the third. Saskatoon on the power play, low shot. Shelliano with the save. 
that'll come back down to Saskatoon's end, though. Uh, looks like it will be standing Buffalo ball down in the corner. 18-18 left here in the third. Chin and check. Are they playing uh, straight time due to the 10-point lead? And scooped up by Chopik. Kenzie throws the brakes on. Toplarowski. Walker takes a hit up. Allah sheds one of them. Swims. Fires and scores. Gable, the beautiful swim. Making it 14 to three with 17:31 left here in the third. Short-handed goal too. Yeah, I'm going to create another column here for my fighting Sioux goals on my page. My page here. Long pass, he's on a rope right to Diebel. Fires his way through, punches him right in the mouth. We got a delayed penalty coming for Diebel. Yeah, don't touch that ball, don't touch, uh, yeah, don't. He's, uh, he's kid, he's, uh, Shiliano was telling him not to touch the ball there because uh, they waste more time on the clock as they're up 14 to three. Everybody wants to get out of this one as fast as possible. I can imagine for the goaltenders in a, in a game if it's a little more lopsided, they get a little warm back there. Actually, this uh, Doug Wickenheiser Arena is not that warm compared to some in the league like the uh, Prince Albert Kinsman and uh, the Moose Jaw Kinsman. Fires, Shiliano. Gets a piece of it, it bounces over the net. Whitehouse looking for open floor. Still has it. Faked it to Evans. Toblerowski laying the lumber. Rolls it along to Evans down in the corner. To the outside now. Right in front, Toblerowski. Oh, and Shiliano with a big save. <laughs> Got a little uh, high on the camera from uh, Danny Kizichipi on camera two. Saskatoon with it, 33 seconds left in the power play. Oh, he had nothing but net, but went high and wide. Long pass. Fighting Sue down a man. Nine seconds left in the man advantage. Extra effort to get that one. And he steps back onto the floor, back to even strength. Diebel feeds him to the outside, taken down. We got a delayed penalty as Diebel draws one as he's coming out of the box. So 
he's got two minutes for cross-checking. 14-44 left in the third. 14-3 is the score. Fires, Chopik makes a save, bouncing ball, comes back out. Murphy. Evans, great in front. Murphy can't put it away, and the net comes off. So standing Buffalo now on the power play. One minute, 37 seconds to go in that man advantage. Evans, right in front of Thardibles, shoots, and he scores! Making it 15 to three. And Diebold's third goal of the night. With 14.05 left in the third period. And we got to this point with the PA game and they went straight time. Only played a 10 minute third period. Saskatoon seems like they figure they got they can still in this. Tries to scoop that up, loses his stick. Noon will intercept that at center. Noon shovels it off and goes for a change. Shatler out at the, or that's not Shatler, sorry, that number 37, Jake Morris. Diebold puts it into the corner. Now the eight seconds. So that'll be Saskatoon ball. 12.55 left here in the third. 15 to three, if you're just joining us, you're watching lacrosse night in Saskatchewan on www.sasnews.net. Another big save. Chiliano is turning his side shots left and right. Fires again, that goes off into the corner. Back to even strength. Fires right in the chest. Chiliano makes the save. Long, intercepted by Lukash. Chiliano fakes him out and that goes back. Bouncing ball into the corner. Drilled in there by Whitehouse. But he can't handle that emotionally by the looks of things. As he's still upset and Toporowski comes in to Defend, looks like number eight, Wyatt Cameron. And Le Swiss. it's hit by Toplarowski coming across the blue line. He's gonna hold on to his stick. 11-26. Right in front, Saskatoon. Gets denied. Battling in front. Oh, he means business. Oweshte showing Toplarowski he's not welcome. He's just gonna keep following him. Oweshte gets another one up on him. Knocks the ball away. But he's gonna go sit in the sin bin for that shift. Now, do they give them extras, or is it just the one for the original? <laughs> They're gonna have a chat quickly about that. So it looks like it's just gonna be the one in a two minute. I feel like that might be a little bit of retaliation for this uh, shift before on Le Swiss. 
It was good to see he's sticking up for his teammate. So it'll be two minutes for a wish day. Again, 41 left here in the third. 15 to three is the score in favor of the standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux. Oh, that was a four minute they gave him. Okay, must have got the second one. It's the third, fourth, and the sixth one, but. Right in front, and Shiliano lets one by. On the power play. That'll be Saskatoon's fourth goal of the night. Moving the gap to 11. Things calmed down a bit after uh, that last shift with uh, with Lane. Pushing away at center, Noon at a stalemate. Battling, oh this is the longest one I've seen in a while. Look at this go. Oh, sorry guys. Around the corner, right at center. Noon, marking his territory. Sorry, guys. <laughs> right in front, Toblerowski off the crossbar. Jones off the back wall, right in front, loose ball. Shatler comes in, he's going to drill him down. Right in front again, Whitehouse misses. Getting creative with it though. Less than 10 left here in the third. 9.15 to go. Lots of time, 40 seconds left on the man advantage. Fires from the outside, rebound. Right in front, Toblerowski. It's met by Whitehouse. 30 seconds to go in the five on four. Low shot blocked. That one sounded like it stomped. Whitehouse gonna stay on the floor. Giuliano makes the save. 14 seconds left in the man advantage. Fires, Giuliano, loose ball. There's a quick whistle by the official. That happens, he lost sight of it and is told if you lose sight of it, blow it down. Tibiaka feeds Diebel. Man, we got a crease violation. Hit Diebel. Oh, behind the play, possibly a penalty. <laughs> Getting away with murder in front. Goodwill. Hands up on the in the face of Lukash. Penalty now coming to the standing Buffalo fighting suit. I feel like that was more of an emotional retaliation by the official, because he was telling him that he was holding his effing stick there earlier. And the next contact he made was just a penalty. So I feel like that was an emotional reaction by the official. Got his feelings hurt. But 
Uh, 15 to four here with seven minutes, six seconds left. Goodwill gonna go sit and send Ben for five minutes. I don't know. Off to the races, Le Swiss. He's got no help, but a guy just cruising in on him. That'll be intercepted, goes the other way. I feel like we're gonna see a fight in the last five minutes here. Toblerowski dives. And that's gonna be kept out by Skigliano. Long pass up through center. I think a couple guys are just forgetting to play lacrosse as they're starting to fight. <laughs> On the right side, goes to the outside right in. There fires, and that'll hit the roof. They'll get whistled down. I love the rough stuff. It's probably my error as an official, even in other sports too, as well as I love that. And he shoots and he scores! Diebel making it 16 to four. This is his third goal in a row and fourth of the night. He was another one that had kind of a questionable call against him and he had to go sit for a bit. I feel like it flipped the switch in him. And oh, now they're playing straight time. So with five minutes, 45 seconds to go, Noon wins it back. Whitehouse. Chiliano scoops it up. Diebel. Scott Uzichipi streaking in. Diebel swims. Goes back the outside. Evans. From behind his head. Teliaka is going to dump that in the corner. 5.05 left here in the third. 2.55 left in the man advantage. Fires. Turned aside. Bouncing ball going to be scooped up by the Fighting Sioux. Four minutes, 44 seconds to go here in the third. Behind the back, over the bus, and misses the net. Starting to get creative with some of these shots. Standing Buffalo closing in on 20 shots on the period. Fires and scores! Saskatoon not giving up here late in the third. As Diazic gets a fifth one for the SWAT. Four minutes, 10 seconds to go here, and we are in straight time as it is 16 to 5 for the Standing Buffalo Fighting Sioux, who are remaining undefeated so far in their PGLL season for 2024 and going to hold on to a